Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of the Dell Inspiron 14Z laptop. This is a range of notebook that's sort of slated above netbooks and below your full scale Core 2 Duo chips. This is running an ultra low voltage chip, which is either a Core Duo or a Core 2 Duo. I'm not sure what, which one Dell sent. You can configure it with either two gigs of RAM or up to four. Um, these things are really nice. They sort of are the nice middle ground between uh, portability and workability. You can run full scale HD movies. You can even do some editing and possibly even some light gaming on these, uh, we'll see. And you get the battery life that you'd get with an Atom processor coupled with really the usability of a Core 2 Duo chip or a Core Duo chip, depending on which version Dell sent. These prices range anywhere from 650 all the way up to 800 bucks, depending on how you configured it. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and dig in. Typical uh, Dell box here, whether you know it's certainly Intel, and a lot of Dell tape. So we'll take the obligatory knife. Looks like it's gonna require a decent amount of cutting to get into this. And we will start chopping away. A little bit more tape. Alright, that should be good. Let's see if we can get into this. There we go. Open it up and see what's inside. Pretty typical Dell packaging. Bits of styrofoam with the laptop tucked away in there. Really curious what the specs on this particular machine are. And of course, as usual with all my computer reviews, I'll be running through through specs. I'll be doing comparison videos. I'll show you how quickly it does things and sort of how overall performance is. Let's take out this little box on the side first. Put that off. Let's see if we can get the laptop out of here. Lift off the styrofoam. So you're going to get, looks like, uh, full restore CDs, which is quite nice. Activate your free 60-day trial of Microsoft Office. And then a, a full uh, version of Microsoft Works. Some uh, warranty information. There are a ton of CDs in here. You've got your restore disks and uh, drivers. It's like some more restore disks. Apparently there's a lot to restore and uh, Roxio CD Creator. That's nice to Dell to include all that stuff. Let's go ahead and take out the laptop. And this is the 14Z, so it's a 14 inch screen. There's also a 15Z, which quite obviously would be a 15 inch screen. Let's go ahead and move this off to the side. Yeah, the packaging does look to be a new unit, so that's nice. This one comes in red and does have a DVD drive, which is which is quite nice. It's a very light feel to it. Let's go over some of the uh, ports on the side. You've got a card reader slot. You've got one USB port, gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, VGA, vent port on the left hand side. On the right, you've got two more USB ports, your DVD writer, and your power. On the back, you've got nothing, and then there's the other side. On the front, looks like you've got your mic and audio. And on the back, you've got some ports for uh, the RAM and stuff. Let's go ahead and open this up. It does have a nice full keyboard. It's not the chiclet style, but they're flat keys. Keyboard does seem to be uh, quite nice. Let's take a look at uh, the first boot up, and this is the Centrino chip inside, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be the Core Duo or the Core 2 Duo. I'll boot it up and take a look. It does appear to be glossy, and there is a webcam in there as well. Let's go ahead and power this thing on, and see how quickly the boot up is, and take a look at some of the specs on the computer. Hopefully it has some sort of charge, enough to turn on at least. I'm not sure if this is a multi-touch trackpad or not, but uh, again, we'll try it out. I really do like the keyboard on this, it looks to be quite usable. Starting up Windows 7. And while that's starting up, we'll take a look at the accessories that come in this box I pulled out. I assume it's just the power brick, but let's see how big that power brick is. 
looks to be sort of your typical Dell fare, but uh, it is on the thin side, which is nice. But it's a little bit on the wide and a bit chunky, and of course, a little bit of an extender cable. Put that back in the box. Preparing your system for first use. So the computer's booted up, you gotta go through this first use stuff. I'll stop the camera and come back once you guys know what the specs on the machine are. So for specs of this Inspiron 14Z, we're looking at the a full Core 2 Duo ultra low voltage chip. You can tell because it's the U7300 clocked in at 1.3 gigahertz. This particular model has three gigs of RAM. It comes up to four and it's got 64 bit Windows 7 Home Premium. This is a, a relatively powerful computer. Let's take a look at the rest of the specs and I'll run through and do a full Windows 7 rating um, in an upcoming video. Hard drive, this comes with a 250 gigabyte drive. I believe you can get it up to uh, 320 if you'd like, depending on how you spec it out from Dell. And it's got a screen resolution of max 1366 by 768. Um, it does look to be a quite a nice computer. Brightness goes all the way up. I've turned it down. It also looks like Dell left a lot of the bloat wear off of this, which is definitely on the nice side. Uh, for a size comparison to another laptop you may be familiar with, the 13 inch uh, unibody MacBook, or the same size as, as the new MacBook Pros. Let's go ahead and pull this off and see what it looks like. Go ahead and stack them side by side and I'll pull the camera down so you guys can see. So here's the thickness comparison of the 13 inch MacBook, MacBook Pro, and the Dell Inspiron 14Z. Um, as you can see, there's definitely a difference as far as thickness goes. Uh, the Inspiron is a little bit on the thicker side. Size-wise, when you stack them on top of each other, this the Mac only has a 13.3 inch, where the Inspiron is a full uh, 14 inch. That accounts for the extra size across the top. The Inspiron is by no means a thick or a fat computer. Um, it's definitely on the lighter side. It's powered by a six cell battery in the back, which Dell claims will get you probably about five and a half to six hours, um, which will probably translate to an actual usage time of around four, four and a half hours, I'll say, but I'll keep it in the labs and uh, run it through a full gamut of tests. So guys, if you're interested in the Inspiron 14Z, stick around to the channel. I'll be running it through just a ton of diagnostics. I'll be testing how it handles sort of your daily usage and my daily usage, how it handles full HD YouTube, how it handles streaming video, including Hulu, how it handles uh, multitasking, and just how it works on, on an every day-to-day -day use. Um, I'll also give it a Windows 7 benchmark test, um, you know, the Windows 7 standard scores, you can see, um, you know, how things rank. Um, but th this is by no means a powerhouse computer, but it's definitely an everyday computer, uh, one that you can do most everything with. Um, Graphics-wise, this thing is running the uh, Intel Graphics Media Accelerator, uh, I believe it's the X4500 uh, HD, so it has to have integrated graphics, but coupled with 3 gigs of RAM, or depending on how you spec it, all the way up to 4, um, that should be quite enough for your everyday use, and certainly it'll get you through a good game of World of Warcraft. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the unboxing, and stay tuned for the rest of the videos. I'm John Rettinger for Techno Buffalo.